Here is a USB desk vac, working computer vacuum by Paladon, first for fun. I forget exactly where this came from. This was given to me quite a few years ago, probably in the late, well, I know it was definitely in the late 2000s. And um, it, it's kind of a useless product. It does work, as it claims. It, it does have a fan in it behind a filter, but it, it doesn't really do much of anything. Um, here's the back of the box. Paladone Products Limited. I'm not really familiar at all with that brand. Take this out of the box here and see what we got. I haven't used this in a very, very long time. The packaging is starting to yellow. It's pretty sturdy though. Okay, so here's the unit itself. It's kind of a clever little contraption. It's too bad it doesn't really work that well, because if it did, then it would be really pretty neat. But it, uh, you know, it does have a fan in there. And there's a filter, and then and that's in theory the you know the air is drawn through there. I think if this was a little bit bigger, it may actually work. But I think this is just a little bit too small for any significant amount of air to be to be drawn through there. What is the problem here? There we go. Alright, so it's got a pretty long USB cord to it. And when you plug it up, it just kind of runs. There's no switch on it. I'll grab the power supply from the camera. Hopefully it doesn't run out of charge. And this isn't really going to tell us much here because that's the voltage is being reduced. But there it goes. It's not sounding too good. And there's actually a considerable amount of air coming out, which is surprising. I don't really feel I don't really feel any air going in, so I'm not sure exactly where it's coming from. If you take it off, the amount of air that's coming out improves substantially. And you can hear it go under a fair bit of load. So I think what they should have done is made this opening look bigger, you know. And maybe it would have worked. But then in theory, you know, you, you clean the dust off of your table. Not really doing anything here, obviously. Um, it looks like this could come off. I'm just kind of curious to take that off and see what happens. Um, perhaps maybe it would work if this was not on here. Oh, there's the model numbers. It is the PL-1020. Oh, made in China. Great. Looks like 
this should come off now. I still don't really feel any air going in there. Although I think at least like that, maybe it would have a chance at working, I don't know. Um, I can't think of a heavy thing or any dust floating around that we could try this with. I don't really. No. Let me see if I can cover something. I just swept up some dust from the floor onto this piece of wood, which is probably one of the most ridiculous things I've done in weeks. Uh, but I did it nonetheless. So let's turn this on and see if it does any good. seem to be doing anything which is kind of what I expected. I'm going to put this back on so at least it's operating the way it's intended to. And let's see if it uh, if it does anything now. Now it actually seems like it's doing something. I'm not sure if it's just getting caught on that little piece there or if it's actually working. Most of the contaminants have disappeared, so let's see. Let's see what transpired here. Huh. Well, I'll be. Look at that. There's all, all the junk is in there. Yeah. It, uh. Unbelievable. It actually worked. I wouldn't say that it works well, but for what it's worth, it it did work. So, I don't know, it's not bad, I guess. This is not exactly the first thing I would reach for if I wanted to get dust off my desk, but it's kind of clever. <laughs>